Okay, let's talk about all of the things that Google Docs does in word processing. That's probably why you are here to begin with. And it's the simplest portion because, of course, it works like all other word processors, to be honest. So we have a toolbar across the top here that you've seen pictured in the course already. And all these do the predictable things. Um, I'm just pasted in some um, sort of lower momentum text so that we can play with it. Um, but you will notice that you have um, undo and redo and print. The one that we'll come back to later is the format painter. Um, I'll explain that one in detail because that's actually pretty useful and isn't something that people will use all the time. Um, but of course, all you would do is highlight whatever text you want to change and change it using whichever tool is at the top that will get the formatting that you want. Another thing that you might want to check out that is um, a little atypical and is kind of unique to online word processors is this tool at the end here is the T with a slash through it. Um, that's clear formatting. So sometimes if you do copy, sometimes if you do copy and paste from one doc to another, you get the original documents formatting that doesn't match your current documents. So a way to clean that up really easily is to highlight like I've done, hit that T to clear the formatting and it will make it match the default for that particular document, which in this case is just Arial. It looks like it's Arial 11 and in black. So it just kind of wipes clean the formatting that I brought over from the course. Okay, so that is it for editing, simple edits. Um, we're gonna go through each of the ways that you might insert different objects into your doc next.